Hello everyone and welcome back to another Let's Play. This time around I'm playing Quartopia. Um, yes, you may have saw me play this in the other video with Chia, also known as Tom. Um, he was the one that actually got me into playing this game. I was aware, aware of this game um, back last year when I saw a couple of others play it. And I've been meaning to play it and get it at some point. But when I recently got it, um, obviously as you saw in the other video, um, Tom was giving me the, um, you know, the tour and... Show me how it's done and such. So now I'm just going to show um, show you guys how it's done, basically. Or, you know, show it from a starter's point. I mean, yes, you saw it on the other videos, but I thought I'd show it through uh, my solo play. Now what I'll do is, instead of using my fireball character, I'll use Sapphire. Now I've already leveled her up to level 5, so it saves me grinding her up. But um, to those of you who are new to this, at least you will get some idea of how this um, starts off. Where those of you who are not new, you already um, get the gist already. But anyway, let's get this um, show on the road. Uh, let's create a new world, shall we? Um, the good thing about this um, game, you can actually create... Um, you can create um, many worlds you like and many characters you like, and you don't have to worry about deleting them. Which actually I find quite good, really. And let's um, up it too hard, shall we? Because I think uh, normal is way too easy at the moment. Uh, I don't know, let's go, let's go a bit hardcore. <laughs> hardcore my ass. I'm not that hardcore, I wish. Now, obviously, you've got an option here to go into creative mode if you want to, so you can enjoy the full like, building or test things out. That's what I did on the test uh, map and that. Um, but I'm not going to go into that anyway. I'm going to keep it normal. Now, I'm going to, that's my main one, basically, and um, I won't show that off yet because I'd rather start fresh and such. So, let's go and start all fresh. And what I do is I skip the intro because basically, to those of you new again, you're playing as a person and you've got three different classes you can play with um, so far. You've got human, elf, and demon. Um, at the moment, I've got a human class and obviously she's female because naturally, because of the name. Um, my fireball is obviously um, a demon in, um, character. But anyway, long story short, the story of this game is you destroyed your own world and now you just got to rebuild it. Yeah, you blew up the earth. <laughs> that's that's the story. You destroyed it. Nuke. Just all you see is at the beginning it's just like a nuke thing and it's just like well gone. <laughs> it's just like that. And I'm like, wow. Hell of an intro. Anyway, um I already crafted all the basic stuff, so you know, I don't need to like go into all the crafting stuff, but it is quite easy to get the grips on. Uh, the best way to describe this game is this game is like a mixture of Breath of the Wild meets Ark meets Minecraft and etc etc. But it's I would say it's a lot more of a simple version of um, Ark I would say. Where with Ark is a little bit more complicated but quite right it has to be complicated because for the game it is. It has to have those mechanics and such like that. When I say complicated, I don't mean it's like, oh, it's complicated, you can't do this and that. I mean, it's like complicated to the point where it's like, it can be tricky and hard at first glance, but then after a while, you get used to it. So it's kind of like that, really. Um, obviously, me being level five, you, you, you can obviously um, start off with the basic stuff. And also, I need to craft a, um, a workbench as well to get like things like stone floors and such like that. No, I don't. I need to actually increase the level to get stone floor. My bad. Um, obviously, this is ultra civilization helps you advance in civilizations. Now, again, um, this game is only in its um, test state. Obviously, that's um, hard metal, so it's going to take a while for me to chip through it. Copper's easy. But yeah, this game is still in its um, alpha status or beta status, whatever it is. And um, they're still adding things to it. Now, by the time I put this video up, which will probably be when its next update is out or whatever, you, it probably will have all, like some of the new updates and that. But I will try and actually do more videos as they do up their updates. Um, but at the same time, I try not to make this collide with all the other videos. So what I'll do is, um, I think I'll put this on for streaming Mondays here, yeah, because usually I have... Um, Subnautica on Monday, so what I do is one week to do this and the following week do a bit of Subnautica, that way it breaks it up then. Um, now, there are multiple things that are available in this, like you've got your shellfish, that's edible, and anything can level you up, so again, you know, think of it like art, Minecraft, whatever you like. 
And um, any material is quartable. Anything's breakable, near enough. Uh, you just break a bunch of things. Um, using the right tools also helps. Like, for example, pickaxe is good for chipping away at stone. Axe is good for trees, and etc, etc. Uh, you can also get your meat from your animals, and etc. Um, you can also improve your crafting items. Even make armor for yourself, clothes for yourself, and etc, etc. So, yeah. But, uh, as I said, things in this game is still a work in progress. So, there will be bugs here and there when I play this and that. Or possible but they probably might have ironed out most of those but either way from what I've played um, so far let's just say I got um, just as addicted to this as I did with Ark now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ch chop away at these uh, I think instead of just going into the stone like I did with the other one I'm gonna go for wood so I build a lot of logs just to make this um, a little bit different from the other one um, I also like the fact that they're actually giving you vehicles to use, like, for example, a helicopter. And I was like, ooh, tell me more. I like that. And the good thing is, when you actually craft items, it's not just crafting one item at a time. You're crafting ten. So, for five logs, you get about ten, like, um, wooden floors, for example. And I thought that's actually pretty handy. And I don't know if I should have eaten that mushroom, but, oh, well. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Can we put this somewhere where it's a bit... Now, obviously, things do float in this game, but it's not a big deal. It's not. It's, it's nothing to worry about. And the thing I love about this game, you also got the thing um, like wall climbing and such like that. And it is easy to control and such like that. S such an easy thing to do, you know. And you also get little missions that you can do. And when you complete them... Um, it gives you like little bonuses here and there, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So you just claim your reward. And obviously you get some, um, like, you know, your skill traits where you can upgrade things. Now, just don't do what I did and think it's just the basic stuff. Because, please bear in mind, there is combat, magic, living, and tricks. And I think Tamer, um, when the time comes. Um, at the moment, it goes up to a tier 5. But I'm assuming there is more coming soon. Because, like, that's coming soon and all that now, bear in mind, depending on what character you are, like, for example, if you're a human, they usually can do it, almost anything. Elves are mostly more magic. Demons are more combat-based, so it all depends. Now, because I'm going to go for more on the magic area, I'm going to go and focus on the water and he healing part. And also, remember to do this as well, to put these in your item thing, because otherwise, you know, you're not going to... Um, be using them otherwise. And also, the good thing I also like is you can push Z and you've got, you know, three boxes. So it's kind of like almost similar to Star Trek Online, how it's got its thing, which I thought was pretty awesome. Uh, triple Slash, Ironclad, Martial Artist. Oh, wait, Martial Artist, the other one had Ninjutsu. That's interesting. So I guess humans do have a different thing. Uh, okay, that's interesting. And the best part is, it doesn't take us long to level up. I don't have to change the, you know, skill thing or anything. I don't know if there is a thing to change the skill. Although I do need to work on my um, wall climb a bit more. Um, no matter what ores you get, whether it be copper or whatever you... It's essential just to get as much as you can, because at the end of the day, you're still going to need them, to, whether it to be making things like... Um, like copper... Like copper ingots to make certain materials and such like that um yeah i can't think of any off the top of my head i'm trying to think where to build actually maybe i should build where there's a um warp gate because you've got warp gates in this where you can actually um use them to transport you to places and such and each place does cost you materials to open ah you see that thing down below there that's another gate that leads you to a dungeon most islands have a dungeon this is a beginner's island so you don't have to worry it's pretty easy as you move on, the islands get harder, I'm assuming. Now, I'm still new to this game, so it's like, yeah, I'm only can assume. Now, what I'm doing is I'm climbing this mountain at the moment first. So I can... Shit, I'm out of stamina. Trust me to be out of stamina. <sighs> okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Can I do this? <clears throat> yeah. Nothing stops me. I need to make myself a better axe as well. Can I? No, not enough. 
definitely not enough. Nah, I need an iron um, pickaxe. I need said iron hoe there. Pickaxe. <laughs> Been playing too much Minecraft there. And plus, um, yeah, I'm not going to even go there. Uh, at the moment, you'd be mostly mining rocks and copper and that. But, like with most games, you know, like these games, you tend to level up through this. Ah, there's one of the warp gates here. Now, I think here would be a good place to start building. Now, obviously, you've got people that um, give you tutorials on this game, like NPCs and such. So, you know, that's always something handy to have on this game. And I near enough said handy, Harry, there. And I'm trying to stop myself from saying that because I notice that I say that quite a lot. It's like, oh, yeah, that's handy, Harry. Oh, yes, that's handy, Harry. Oh, yes, that's handy, Harry. And it's like, will you just fucking stop? <laughs> and each time when you level up you do get um reminded that you've got skills to spend and such like that yes at the moment just chopping down trees and such just to um make room and such oh and also the best part about this you can actually pick up your things without destroying it and it's in your inventory so it's like that is something to be happy about because then it's like oh i'm not wasting any you know, anything by... Oops. Oops, I can't build a thing there. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, I'll go to switch from a pickaxe. Oh, gotta be careful not to damage it. And the best part is you can get things like wheat and such from there. And also another thing is you've got to keep an eye on your food, which is down below. It's that meat thing there where it's like 93% um, now. Uh, you also got coins in this that you need to use for upgrading and such like that. I'm pretty sure it's used for other things as well. But, um, yeah, this game is pretty simple. It is really quite nice to play and quite easy going in that. There you go, cleared it up. There we go. And that's the best part, is I'm near the fishing area as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get the treasure chest. And you can obviously hear the treasure chest by the way it makes that sound. But you can do definitely see a Breath of the Wild inspired here and such. That it's like, you can really see it and such. Also... I believe when you enter a dungeon, dungeons do require you to build like things like um, platforms for you to climb up and that. So it definitely lives up to the game's name, Craftopia itself. Um, but yeah, it is just literally a very nice, simple game, relaxing to play and such like that. So let's go and craft this. Um, one at a time, I guess. And it appears up there. And the thing I like about this also is things are categorised. You've got equipment, build, um, use item, materials and such like that. And it really makes it easy. And that's actually quite handy as well. Because um, I rarely get those um, kind of dishes. I usually just get um, fresh dishes and I have to cook it myself. And hold on, I've got the wrong thing in my thing. I was meant to put that there. There we go. I guess it's because I'm thinking of food too much and I'm just like... I'm hungry. Crafting tables are quite important. Sometimes it's best to build more than one. As you may have heard in the um, video from my friend. He actually advised me on that one. Sometimes it's best to build like three of these and such. But right now sometimes um, one is sufficient. Um, what else? I'll just build another one. Um, let's see. Can I just go? Okay. So one at a time I guess with this character. I guess when you're on a crafting table, you can be all, like, in batches. But, hey, I'm not complaining. Oops, I think I've, uh, oh, no, that was raw meat I eaten. No, it won't. It was cooked. That's another thing I need to. I need to put a campfire down. So I'm trying to actually get everything straightened out here. There we go. And now the next thing for me to do is to build a... Civilization altar because I need to be civilized. I might as well just put it here, you know, make a decoration out of it. Why not? It's such a pretty place. I summon you. And let's go here. So, to progress, I need meat. Wow. So if I want this, I'm going to need to progress. So this is how you progress in the game. Now at first it starts off easy, obviously naturally on a beginner's level. And it gives you 
and it shows you here what your next age is and what it gives you. So for example, uh, you've got arch agricultural age. Agricultural age. Uh, ugh, f why can't I not say things properly? Agricultural age. There we go. And you get all the things like chess, blacksmith, stone furnace, cooking pot. Wheat field, yeah, okay, I do apologise for butchering that, and I can I can pronounce that better if I'm thinking straight. Um, altar of transportation, um, wooden fishing rod, fitted machine, cannon. Now, all of these do play an important role, um, well, I'm not sure about the cannon, but most of these here do, especially the wheat field, cooking pot, fishing rod, and fitted machine, because they're very important. And even these weapons, it shows what you can actually build when you advance into that um, agricultural age there you go i said it right and then you've got the frontier age um, resident age industrial age inno innovation age of um, fire and then you've got age of scientific research and then you've got age of gods that is not implemented yet coming soon to a cinema under you but still you get my gist and i need to get more meat so let's go and um first and first uh Let's go and make a kill, shall we? But first, let's see what we can build. Oh, yes, a glider. That's handy to have because if I don't have one of them, I'll probably end up dying from the fall damage. Do you take fall damage in this? That's the one thing I don't know. You wait. Now that's equipped. Now let's go and find something to. Oops, I've got to remember to. There you go. Ooh, chest. I take you. Yeah, just a little bit of this. Can't wait till I get to actually better tools. But all in good time. Now, where's my meats? Yeah, animals, animals, animals. Oysters are good, but I prefer to have some meat so I can actually get some other bits and bobs so I can advance. No, you chickens are not what I want. Where's the cows? There was cows around here. Lots of them. Oh, let me guess. You want to play hide and seek now? Oh, wait. Is it night time? Wait. Sh a sheep. Come here. And like with any e game like this, you can easily get your meat with just the simple things. Also, these can be captured and tameable as well. By making these things that are like, as uh, my friend would say, they're like literally pokeballs. <laughs> uh, let's go and bash up these barrels for more stuff. Plus, it would help me though, what, wouldn't it? Oh, and it also says, that's a good thing. Cooking oil, handy. Let's bash up more. Double eight. I said it again, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. I said the um, handy area again. <laughs> oh, I swear it's a running joke. Ooh, I wonder if I can actually heal myself fully. Let's test that out. I forgot about the magic. So, does that heal me up anymore? Oh, no, I'm already fully healed. Whoops. I keep forgetting that. Um, yeah, I'm a low level still. Wait, what did I just make? I made a bucket of water? So, wait. So, I can create buckets of water. Okay. That's a... I thought that was an attack. But it's like, no, you can greet buckets of water. That's cool. Also, these blue things, you can actually kill these monos. They actually um, give um, water gun parts. Yeah, I'm going up the hard way. Oh, look, a stag. Oh, your cows decide to show up now. Even Mr. Fox decides to show up. Well, I'm not in a hunting mood, so buzz off. Like, it's progress. And now we evolved into the next age. So what have we got? And what do we need for the next one? Well, that much gold. And obviously we need wheat. We need a detector. And we need a copper shield. And if we do evolve into the frontier age, we get a monster prison, which is like a Pokeball where you can catch us up. A generator where you can actually put creatures in to use. Those are to run your um, base, like power and that. Um, you got also a mining tool, conveyor belt, motorcycle, steel chairs, and sprinkler, rotating 
in source. Ooh, handy, handy, handy. Machine factory, which is used to create all your machines. And etc, etc, etc. Ooh, even hoverboards. We were like a hoverboard, right? And if I'm not mistaken, you can actually create stone now. If I'm not mistaken, yes, I can. I am now into the Stone Age. And obviously, you can create one of these, but I don't think it's necessary considering that I'm near one. So let's go and craft a stone wall. Now, I am going to um, try and be careful here how I go about this because I want to make sure. I'll... Oh no, well, I don't need to be careful about this because I can easily just take it down and just reuse them. So I'm an idiot. I'm thinking of Ark. Now, if you want a floating island, there is, it's, um, it's an island that's quite important in this game. Because you can actually give um, 10, like, tablet-like things to a newest up there. Another good reason for me to be here. Well, hey. So, what have we got? A wooden fishing rod. Let's go and craft that. Also, I probably will need to eat. So, let's eat some oysters. They're healthy. I know not everybody likes oysters, but hey. Um, let's go and craft one of them. And where do we put you? Where do we put you, eh? Hmm, we might as well put you next to the thing. Alright. And... Do I create one more? Might as well. Actually, no, I'll keep to one. Stone furnace. These are the ones you need about three of. Especially if you've got like um, steel ingots and such like that. And it's like, yeah, you definitely need to make more of those and such. Right. Hold the phone. <laughs> 